Greetings, I'm Charles. I'm 54 years old. I'm 6'1 when I'm fully assembled. I weigh about 230 pounds. Uh, my brother's sitting in for this demonstration today because um, I do not have any feet to do this with. But when I did have a feet, before I had my second uh, amputation, my second leg amputation, I had a, um, I had broken my foot and um, I developed a really bizarre syndrome and uh, they kind of messed around with it for a couple of years and determined that it just was not going to work and uh, so eventually that did lead to an amputation but one of the things that I had to do is uh, after a surgery I had to have um, uh, the, I had to have my foot wrapped up like he has here and I also needed to wear uh, like a compression stocking or compression tubing or you know something of that nature around it and so he's going to demonstrate a little trick that I discovered to help keep help get that compression stocking on and keep my band bandage intact because that was a really big trick every time you try to pull the compression stocking up it would mess the wrap up so of course first what I would do is I would dress the uh, area that had had the surgery uh, and we already have that done here. And uh, what he's going to do is um, go ahead and uh, what, we, what we determined, what I determined was that I could get, uh, went to the ladies' hosiery department and I got a knee high stocking, which is what he's showing here. And to go ahead and just put that stocking on over top of my, uh, my bandaged up foot. It had the dressing on just the way it was supposed to be dressed and uh, it was wrapped with gauze just the way it was supposed to be and I determined I could take one of these stockings and pull it over top of it and uh, it would help hold this in place while I would put the compression sock or compression tubing which is what I uh, typically had after the surgery but what it would help do is it would hold that bandage in place. And if you've ever tried this without having a, a stocking on, you realize there's a real problem with the bandage getting bunched up or moving around and not wanting to uh, stay, uh, you know, stay where you put it because these compression stockings are really a pain in the neck to put on, and of course they are really tight because that's the way they're designed. Okay, so he's got that on, and um, that's pretty much what it would take. Of course, it looks like it's on properly and all that, and if he goes ahead and peels that stocking off, just so we can see. Okay, he pulled the, the compression stocking off. He's left the, the hose on in place. And... Uh, Okay, and it looks like that uh, bandage underneath is still intact, and he's going to go ahead and just peel that stocking off. And as you can see, that bandage has uh, looks like it stayed in place. Now, it's a super handy trick to uh, keep that bandage in place, help protect my foot, wear the compression stuff that um, you know the doctors wanted me to. Now, I did check with the, uh, uh, you know, the guys who had done the surgery on my foot and they said that, uh, you know, there wasn't a problem using that hose that didn't have a breathing problem or anything of that nature. They actually thought that that was a pretty good idea to do it that way to keep that bandage in place. That is how I managed to keep that bandage in place for some time.